Yes, sir. Minnesota, as you know, hasn't voted for a Republican presidential candidate since 1972. It's been 40 years. So what about 2012? She had tried to give them an opportunity in this year to vote for one of their own, and Shucks didn't quite make it. Uh, what about Mitt Romney? Uh, well, I'm year. hoping that they will go for Mitt Romney. I, it would be a delight to have him voted in this year out of the state of Minnesota, and I'm doing everything that I can on my end to make sure that that happens. I know that I made a distinct contribution to the primary race, because when I came in, uh, various people who were running weren't for the full-scale repeal of Obamacare. Now our nominee, Mitt Romney, is behind the full-scale repeal of Obamacare. That's a contribution that I helped to assist with, I think, in this campaign. I'm extremely grateful for that. And it's a very clear, easy, obvious contrast between Barack Obama and Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney wants to open up and legalize American energy production. We'll get back to $2 a gallon gas a lot faster with the Mitt Romney. We will never get to $2 a gallon of gas under Barack Obama. Gas was $1.81 a gallon the day that Barack Obama became President of the United States. If he had his way, gas would be 6 to $8 a gallon. He doesn't seem too worried about what the average American is paying at the pump. This is a big issue. I think one thing with Mitt Romney, people know he's very smart. They know he's very savvy. They understand that he has competence when it comes to dealing with the economy. And they know that they can trust him on that. Women know they can trust Romney on the economy. And that's really what people care about right now. They want the economy to turn around. Obama has been an abject failure. And so I think now it's time to give Romney a try.